Ladies and gentlemen, here's the host of our show, Mr. Z, Jack Zakara. Thank you very much. I'm going to trip over that one of these days coming out here. Welcome back to Brainstorm, everybody. We're going to meet our two teams in just a minute. But first, Jeanette, if you'll give me our two letters, we'll go right to that and give away a couple of Brainstorm achievement certificates to our younger fans and also a couple of great Brainstorm t-shirts. Dear Mr. Z, and this is in very nice print, I've learned how to do a summary. Here's how to do it. You think of these things. Who or what it's about. Where does it happen? What happens first? What happens next? How does it end? I've also, this year, shared my microscope with the class. I really enjoy school. Your friend, Paul Busta, Grade 2, Park Avenue School. For knowing how to, everything there is to possibly know about doing a summary. And for sharing your microscope, Paul. Dear Mr. Z, also in very nice print. Hi, my name is Avita Nicholas. I go to Edison School. I am in Grade 2. My teacher's name is Miss Cabino. I am very good at spelling tests. I love art. I am good at math tests also. And in three weeks, I am getting a hamster. Avita, good luck with your hamster. <laughs> Second grade. Nice to know you guys are really doing well at school. Behind me is a game board, and underneath are different categories of academic disciplines with point values below each. The higher the point value, the harder the question we will find hiding behind that sign. Let's meet our two teams for today. We're going to play for 20 minutes today, followed by a 40-point bonus question. On my left, the Sigma team, already with one win behind them, looking for their second. Joe Paselli. Trisha McMahon. Jeff Kareem. Joe Macy. Good luck again, Sigma. And also with one win behind them, looking to continue, the Pi team. Tim Pacheco. P. Barsha. John Cleveres. Claudio Russo. You guys talk any lower. The judges won't even hear those answers, okay? Come on out here, folks. Jeanette, lend us a quarter. Thank you very much. And Claudio, you're going to call it. Tails. Heads it is, Claudio. Joe, your team's going to pick first. Jeff, you're going to come up. And Jeanette, if you'll start the clock, we're going to go right to the game board with our friend Jeff over here. Jeff, go right to it. Like science for 10, please. A 10-point science question. Let's go. In which direction will a free-turning magnet point? Jeff? North. North. That's the way it works, folks. First one of these two people at the head of their counter, lighting the light, gets to try to answer the question. If they miss, it goes to the other team for a lesser point value you see on the side of the board. Okay, John. Falling for 15. Okay, a 15-point spelling question. Jeanette, I'll need the envelope, please. For 15 points, please spell hazardous. Traffic conditions were quite hazardous last night. Go ahead, John. H-A-Z-E-R-D-O-U-S. Sorry, shut down, please. And lesser point value is available, Sigma. Hazardous, anyone? Okay, Jeff, I like your attitude. Let's give it a shot. H-A-Z-A-R-D-E-R-S. No, sorry, hazardous. H-A-Z-A-R-D-O-U-S. Hazardous. Okay, you've both picked the question, so we're going to bring Trisha up to the top, Jeff. How's it going, Trish? Fine. That's good. You less nervous this time than last? Yeah. Okay, good. You're an old pro. Go right to the game board for us. Social studies for 10. 10 points under the social studies column. First one of the day. Here it is. 
What purpose does a preface serve in a book or a preface? Sigma. To tell you what's going to be in the book and where. Okay, says the judge, yes. All right, Peter, they have a 20 nothing lead. Of course, they also have uh, 18 minutes remaining in our game. We're only two minutes down. Science 15? A 15 point science question puts you right back. Here it is. The terms pure, fresh, and salt are used in describing the condition of what, Tricia? Water. Water. All right, Joe, you are, are a very familiar face to all of us here in the Brainstorm studio. Why don't you tell the folks what you do behind camera most of the time? I help organize Brainstorm and set all the systems up. Okay, you're kind of, uh, you're the, the head crewman for the show. Uh, you kind of like uh, make sure everybody does the rest of their jobs too? I guess so. <laughs> okay, we pick a big guy for that. Go ahead. Um, science for 20. 20 points under the science column. We're going downward in science. Here it comes. What is the jelly-like substance of which all cells are composed? Schmuckers. The jelly-like substance of which all cells are composed. Lesser point value. First light sigma, Joe. Protoplasm. You got it, pal. 43 to nothing, Tina. Do I seem to recall a, a little uh, singing escapade last time you guys were on the show? Yeah. yeah what <coughs> song did, was it we started to do? Earth Angel, I think. Earth Angel, it could have been, yes, indeed. We didn't get far, however. Go ahead, Tina. Spelling for 20. All right, spelling for 20. Jeanette, we'll call you back out with my spelling envelope. Who's been having chocolate bars mm -hmm. behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. Joe, I mean, you know, head crew man. Yeah. Let's take care of this, have we? probably sticking in the envelope here. For 20 points, please spell foreign. Our foreign languages at the middle school are Italian and Spanish. Tina Foreign. F-O-R-E-I-G-N. There you go. Okay, if you'll shut that down for me, Claudio. It's 43 to 20. 43 for Sigma, 20 for Pi. And let's see how we're doing here. 16 minutes remaining in the game, Joe. Social studies for 25. All right, a 25-point social studies question. The hardest social studies question on the board is identify the Presidential Secession Act, it's hard to say, of 1947. Okay, let's hear the Presidential Secession line, Joe. If the President dies, the Vice President takes over. If the Vice President dies, the Speaker of the House of the Representatives takes over. If the Speaker dies, the President pro temp takes over. And if um, he dies, then, um, then the uh, cabinet takes over in the order they were created. I'd get out of town. That many people start going. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Besides, I think Nancy'd have something to say about all that anyway. Go ahead, Claudio. Social studies for twenty. Who said that? Not me. Social studies for twenty. Here it comes. Name the two great mountain ranges in the United States. Claudio. The Appalachian and the Rockies. <laughs> Sir, we owe you an apology. Last time Jeff was on the show, one of the questions that was asked was what makes human beings uh, completely different than all other mammals, was basically the idea of the question. And you gave the answer. Knock need. But they were not need, which the audience absolutely laughed at. And Mr. Zakara bit his tongue and said, thank you very much, Jeff. And they rang the buzzer, and we went right on and gave the answer a posable thumb. As it turns out, in our never-ending quest for validity, we looked it up. Knock need. Jeff, we're sorry. You were right. It didn't make a difference in the game. It was a 25-point question, however, and he did have it right. So, Jeff, take your pick. I'd like potluck for 25, please. Potluck, here it is. Name the four divisions of instruments of an orchestra. The four divisions of instruments in an orchestra. Oh, your light is on, Jeff. Um, string, bass, woodwind, bass. Woodwind, and... Um. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, it's got to be there. Fish notwithstanding. Pie, first light I see. Claudio. 
string, brass, percussion, and... Uh, Sorry, Claudia. Strings, woodwind, brass, and percussion. Shut down, please. John, I believe we're coming to you. It's 68 to 40. We have a 28-point game here with about four, 13 minutes remaining. John? Spelling for 10. Okay, a 10-point spelling, please, Jeanette. Thank you very much. For 10 points, folks, please spell excitement. One's excitement at a football game can help players try harder. Excitement, John? E-X-C-I-T-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E excitement. Okay, this score can lead to a little bit of excitement right here. It's Sigma 68, Pi 50. We have an 18-point game and about 13 minutes remaining, Tricia. Um, social studies for 15. Okay, a 15-point question under the social studies column. Very favorite category always here on Brainstorm. Here it is. The delegate who kept the diary and is known as the father of our Constitution was, Tricia? James Madison. James Madison. Were you surprised that you knew that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Peter. Science 25. 25 points under the science column. The hardest science question of the day reads as follows. What is the atomic number of an atom which has three protons, one neutron, and three electrons? What is its atomic number? Pi. Peter. 15. Sorry, sir. Shut down, please. So you may have it. Lesser point value. Sigma. First light I see is Joe. Four. Sorry, Joe. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons. Three. Three is the proper answer there. Peter, you pick that, so we're going to bring Joe back up to the top here. Okay. 83.50. Joe, you enjoy a 23-point lead, and we're not quite halfway through the game. Potluck for 10. Okay. Potluck. 10 points. Here it is. What do one million bytes equal? <laughs> Sounds like an ad for McDonald's. <laughs> what do one million bytes equal? <coughs> Time is out. Lesser point value, sigma. First light I see is Jeff. A bit. Sorry, Jeff. It's a megabyte. A megabyte. They're almost afraid to buzz you now, Jeff. Uh, it's probably going to turn out to be right, actually. Tina. Um, English for 10. English for 10 points. Here we go. First English question of the day, and we're halfway through the game. English. Place in the commas, please. The airplane, a quick means of travel, offers little adventure. Pi, Tina, the commas, please. Um, comma after, the comma after a airplane. Comma after, wait, comma after travel. And that's it. Okay, that was close to almost running out of time right there. In fact, well, I'm going to give you some time to think about your next choice, Joe. It's 8360. Jeanette, if you'll go to the clock and stop it right at the halfway mark, we have 10 minutes remaining in a 23-point game. Don't go away. Looks like another good one. So be right back. Hi, I'm Greg Solzer, and I'm a sophomore here at SUNY Purchase and a graduate of Fox Lane High School, and I plan to major in drama studies. When I knew I was going to SUNY Purchase, my folks and I went to the Village Savings Bank to apply for a student loan, and they were very helpful and friendly, and I got it quickly, too. Let a Village Savings student loan help you with a high cost of higher education. Village Savings, with offices in Portchester, Rye, Rye Town, Pleasantville, North White Plains, and Bedford Village. Excuse me. Hi, would you like a ride? Um, sure. You know, kids, there are grown-ups out there who drive around and offer children rides, even when they don't know you. If this happens to you, run to the nearest adult, 
door or home, and if you must, scream out. But don't stop to talk, and remember, whatever you do, don't believe them when they say they're going to take you home, because chances are you're never going to get there. Seventh season with Ricky Henderson and the hard hitting Yankees on Sports Channel. Getting in the drugs and being high is a stupid thing to do. Be an original and take a stand. to are free to say no. Don't let a friend put you in. Taking drugs, you got a right. And welcome back to Brainstorm, everybody. Sigma 83, Pi 60. Jeanette, start our clock. And I'll, yes, thank you. I need my idiot card. And Joe, we're going to let you pick right over here. 8360, Joe. Uh, English for 25. Okay, a 25 point English question. They're going for the hard stuff right, or right, right away. Look at that. We have all the five point questions on the board. This is a very unusual game. Normally, you people clear that away early but let's see the 25 point english please when is the word ending in i and g a verb when is it a verb joe when it has two in front of it sorry shut down please joe and you may have shut down thank you very much sir lesser point value pi when is it a verb no sigma <laughs> don't do that to me sigma anyone no. Okay. It is a verb. 25 points English, she says. When it is preceded by a helping verb. Okay. By a helping verb. Okay. She sh the English teacher shaking her fist back there, Claudia. <laughs> okay. We in trouble tomorrow, gang. Okay. By the way, excuse me, but come, come here. This is, this is not the latest look in wardrobe. Guess where he's going right after the show, right down to the socks. Nice look. I like that. You, uh, you do have a ball game. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, good. I was hoping so, Claudia. Uh, potluck for 20. He's going to kill me now. Potluck for 20. Here it comes. The brightest star in our sky is what, Joe? The sun. Okay, they're looking, you're looking for a star other than the sun, right? Not, okay, so the sun is technically our star, and it's the brightest one. The next star at night, other than the sun, the brightest one is? Polaris. Thank you very much. <laughs> Try that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, the brightest star in the nighttime sky is probably what we should have asked. Lesser point value. Pi. Tina. Beatles. Not Betelgeuse either, Tina. Thank you very much. It's Sirius. S-I-R-I-U-S. The star series. We've both picked. Come on. Okay, Jeff. You are, you've moved around a bit. You just, you, how long have you been in Portchester? A mm, little over a year. And, and tell us where you've been before then. South Carolina. Leave me hanging, pal. And then where? Uh, I moved around a lot. Examples? California, Florida, Vermont, Massachusetts, Nevada, Colorado. Okay, fine. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. I'll take Social Studies 5. And you leave me hanging with one place. Jeez. Social Studies, five points. Here it is. Last one of the day for Social Studies. Go ahead. What is the nickname of New York State? Jeff? The Empire State. That from an anarchist, huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, John. Spelling for 25. Spelling for 20. Why don't we, wait a minute, before I give you that, why don't we tell these people something about you? What are, what are some of the things that keep you busy after school, John? I like riding my bike. <laughs> I don't know, homework. <laughs> it's an exciting life, isn't it, John? <laughs> 25 points. I'll trade you, Jeanette. He does his homework on his bike, though, folks. So it's really, it's amazing. You got to see the kid. Twenty-five points. Please spell auxiliary. My father belongs to the auxiliary per <laughs> police. John. 
A U X I L L E R Y. You can see the members of the audience just went. Okay, let's see. Joe at the end is the first switch on. Lesser point value, Joe. A U X I L E R Y. Sorry, sir. A U X I L A R Y, guys. Auxiliary police. Okay. I L, did I leave out the I? I spell it? <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, folks. <coughs> Trisha. Math for 10. Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> math for 10 points. Our first math question of the day. We have only six minutes remaining in the game. Here it is. Okay, no longer a 10 point question. That's a 20 point bonus question, which would put you guys within eight points, okay? And which would give you a big lead. So here we go, 20 points under math. What is the average of four and 16? First slide, Trisha, Sigma. 10. That's it. She beat you to it, Peter. 108 to 60. And five minutes remaining in the game. Relax now. Remember, we got a 40-point bonus question at the end of this program. Potluck, 15. Potluck, 15 points. Why not? Here it is. What is, th what is listed in the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature? What is listed in the Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature? It's one of my favorite books. <laughs> Lesser point value, pi, Claudia. Magazines. Articles, newspaper articles, magazines, absolutely correct. All right, so a little move on there, 66, 108, Joseph. Potluck for five. Potluck, five points. Our first, oh no, it isn't, our second potluck, five point question, here it is. What is the abbreviation for the word doctor? I'm going to see one about my mouth today. Huh? Tina. DR, <coughs> DR period. Sorry, shut down, please. They were waiting on that one. Joe, you're the first switch I said. Capital DR period. Couldn't you just kick yourself? You know? Yeah, I know. We know you knew it. Go ahead. Um, English for 15. 110, 66. English for 15. Here it is. Capitalize the proper words. Capitalize the proper words. The Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center is in Houston. All the capitals, please, Joe. Capital T on the, capital L on Linden, capital B on B, capital J on Johnson, capital H on Houston, period. Sorry, sir. Shut down. Less a point value. Tina, first of light, I see. Um, capital T on the, capital L on Linden, capital B on B, capital J on Johnson, capital S on space, capital C on center, capital H on Houston. <laughs> I think we got the picture there. Come on up here, Joe. One ten seventy-two, Joe. Um, math for fifteen. A fifteen-point question under the math column. I hear the pads cr scratching and crumbling. Here it comes. Three melons weigh ninety pounds altogether. How many pounds will eight melons weigh if they average the same as the three melons? In his head, he did it. Claudio. Two hundred forty pounds. Forty pounds is absolutely correct. So often I, I, I see kids get fixated on the pads and pencils when something like, the, especially the lower point values, you can do in your head more, more often than not. Okay, putting a move on them. 110.87, Claudio. English for 20. You got a little ground to make up. This will tend to do it. English for 20, here it comes. What does the prefix R-E mean, Claudio? To do again. Do again. And once again, we are doing a close game here. It's sigma 110, pi 107. We have two minutes remaining, Jeff. I'll take science for five. Science for five, another great one. Here we go. A break in the rock of the crust of the earth is called, a break in the rock of the crust of the earth is called? A fissure. Yeah, yeah, he's got us, yeah. I, I have to say, they were looking for fault, got to take fissure. Good enough. John? Spelling for five. Spelling for five. The science teacher's hand went. <laughs> Spelling for five. Jeanette, thank you very much.
Five points. Spell museum. It can be very interesting to visit a museum. John. M-U-S-E-U-M. Museum. Well, looky here. 115, 112. You picked Trisha. Come on up here, dear heart. English for five. Why not? English for five points. Here it comes. About a minute remaining in the game, folks. English. The f in Flowers for Algernon, who was Algernon? Peter. Charlie? Sorry, Peter. Shut down, please. Who is Algernon, Tricia? His mouse. The mouse. <laughs> Forgot about the mouse, huh, Peter? Yeah. 117, 112, sir. Under a minute. Math for five. Math for five. Let's see it. The sum of two integers is zero. One of them is negative three. What is the other integer? Pi, Peter. Three. You got it. Okay, it's only 117, 117 with well under a minute remaining, Joseph. Math for 20. Math for 20, he says. There's only a 20 and a 25 left. Let's see the 20. What is 25% of 20? No, raise your hand, Joe. <laughs> you can't leave the room now. 20% of 20. Five. That's it. And you know what? Either one of you could have done that without going to your pads. You went to the pads by instinct, I'm sure. It's 137, 117. The bonus question will decide. Anybody may answer it. It's worth 40 points. Whatever team gets it right will win this game. Here it is. What do we call an exploding star? Sigma, first light I see is Joe. A nova. A nova is correct, or a supernova. We have a winner. Oh, congratulations, Sigma Pi. Great game. Really and truly was. Okay, I'm going to rush you off air here. Boys and girls, at the beginning of the show, you saw me appeal for some letters and give away some awards. Please write me, Mr. Z, care of Porchester Middle School, Bowman Avenue, Porchester, New York, 10573. Thank you, panel, Mrs. Singh and Mr. Ryan and Mr. George for sharing your time with us. Boys and girls at home, you've got to learn it to earn it. We'll see you next week.